it is very challenging to know from the internet which is gonna be the best house for your family. So get out there and see the houses so that you can filter down the top criteria that's right for you and your family. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eric Stanio from Keller Williams Realty and teamstanio.com where we are helping you find your home and strengthen your family. We're in the Team Stanio Vanyo today and uh, just finished showing some houses to an awesome client who is here from out of town. And while I was thinking about it, I wanted to do a quick video talking about your buying criteria. When you are a, a home buyer and you're searching for houses, there's a bunch of different criteria that could be on your list for what matters to you the most. Just a few of those things could be the school district you're gonna be in could be how much land you want for the lot to be, you know, no acreage or a small acreage. Could be the neighborhood that you wanna live in. It could be certainly the number of bedrooms and bathrooms in the homes or the square footage or the budget. Uh, there's the interior of the house and the style and the design of it. There is the, the layout of the home. Is it an open floor plan? Is it a two-story home? Is it a ranch? Does it have a finished basement? Does it not have a finished basement? There's all of these criteria that matter. And, and what we always do at Team Stanio, we generally typically like to have a buyer consultation with you before we go out looking for homes and before you spend endless hours on the internet sorting through photos and getting your heart captured by some house um, that may or may not even fit your budget, that may or may not hit the, your top criteria in a house. So the steps we like to take is, okay, let's first of all, let's get in the budget range. Let's, let's, we always want to connect you with uh, a lender if you haven't done that already. And so from, uh, we've got a couple local lenders that we work with that are fantastic. And the reason why we like working with them, we don't get kickbacks or anything like that, is because they do the job and they have a team and they have systems and if something goes wrong in the loan process before you close on your house, which can happen, you wanna have someone you can go to, who you trust, that you know can fix the problem. So that's the first step. And, be, and the reason why we do that is we wanna know your budget range. I don't want you as a buyer wasting a lot of time looking at beautiful photographs online of houses that you are not even sure you can afford. Let's get you pre-approved first. And particularly in a seller's market, you can't make an offer on a house without a pre-approval. So get that step done so that you can move forward. But then we also have a buyer's consultation with you where we say, what are the top things that matter to you? So that list that I just mentioned to you in terms of the neighborhood, the schools, the look of the home, the budget, the, the bedrooms and baths, is it an open floor plan or not? The, is the kitchen redone? Whatever, they're, they're, they're all, it could be anything, right? Did you want land or not? And all of that matters. It matters a great deal. Um, but what I always say to buyers is you're gonna have a list at the beginning of this process. You're gonna make, we try to get you to make your top five. Like what, do you, what is most important to you and go down the list. But I also always try to tell my buyers is that you don't know if that top five, more than likely that top five might not stay that top five as you actually get out there and see the houses. And as great as real estate photographers are and as much information as you can gather online, and I love for you to search online, you should always search online and get a feel for some of the houses that you think are a good fit until you actually drive through the neighborhood and until you get out there and actually walk the property until you actually are in the house and you can get a feel for the house and you can smell the smells of the house and you can like you know all the stuff that comes with actually being in the property a you know you might be surprised by one particular home over another but b what more than likely what happens is your criteria changes and so what i think the job of a good agent is to do is to listen really well i'm never trying to sell you uh when we go out and look at houses what i'm actually trying to do is listen, uh, ask good questions, ask, hey, what are you feeling emotionally? What do you like logically? There's two sides to that equation, right? And some people might lean on one side more than the other of personality type. And you know, are you gonna think all logic or is your heart gonna drive you? Um, or if you're married, uh, how do you come to that decision together that you can both agree on something that you both like? Because the truth is, you're never going to find the house that is 100% checks every single box. You have to weigh 
the pros and cons of, like of different houses. For example, the house, the houses we just saw today, one house I know is their favorite house, the house itself, the style of the home, the finishes of the home, the kind of the, the design when it was, it was made, but the location is not the closest to work. There's a golf course in the backyard and they've got young kids. And so like, do you want golf balls raining down on your backyard? Probably not. And so you're like, ah, I love this house. I love so many things about this house, but there are a few things that are, that give it dings. Whereas we just went and looked at another house and it's like, Ooh, this one, I didn't think I was going to like this one, but then I showed up and the backyard's great. The kids could play here without a problem. You know, it didn't show up as well on my internet search. I, did, I we actually had marked it off our favorites, but then when we got there, it became our favorite. And so that's why you've got to go see the houses. Um, and then as an agent, just to kind of finish that thought, my job is to, I feel like ask good questions, listen, play back to you what I'm hearing you say as you go through the property to help you solidify and narrow down what is the best property to put, to put an offer on. And so we say, we say it all the time on this channel um, that we believe that home is where your family grows stronger together. And there's a lot of factors when it comes to family. Family is messy. Family, I've said in another video, families are broken and strong, both. We all have our problems. We all have come from challenging backgrounds in one way or another, and we all have strengths and we all have unique gifts as a family. And so how can we find the right home that accentuates and accelerate, accelerates those gifts and is a, a safe place or the right place for your family to grow both in, in age and over time, but in, in wisdom and in maturity and in stature and favor, right? And all those good things. That's what I feel like we, we did today. And I wanted to shoot this video just real quick to say like, you got it. You've got to actually get out there. You can't determine these things ahead of time or it's very difficult to. Now, if you have to buy a, a house sight unseen because you're moving in from out of town, that's fine. And we'll try to video uh, conference call you into the property to give you as much as that as possible. But whenever possible, try to get to the property so that you can determine your criteria. Try to see multiple properties. A lot. I'll say one more thing on this and then I'll wrap it up. A lot of times people say to me, I'm so, I'm so sorry to take your time. I know you've got kids. And I'm like, this is my job. <laughs> I, I, you know, yes, I very much appreciate you respecting my schedule and my wife with five kids, like trying to be home for dinner when possible. But uh, I love, like, it's a real joy and a gift to help people sort through that buying criteria uh, as they're searching for the houses and so they can find the best one or the, the one that will work best for their family. Again, you're never gonna find the 100% check every box house, but I think as you go through this process, what, what tends to happen is your list solidifies and you know what really matters the most. So I like coaching people through that process. So don't feel bad for asking your agent to go show your houses now. Hey, if you get to 15, 20 houses and you haven't put an offer in, then we're gonna have another talk. But um i always i always tell people hey send me your favorites let's go see them and then we'll we'll know we'll know you know you know as you get through that and you go through this kind of this filtering process of which one's going to be the best all right guys thanks for watching this video sorry for the audio being on the road but i wanted to um while this thought was in my brain uh as you guys are reaching out to me especially if you're coming in from out of town and you have kind of a limited time frame to see houses in the Cincinnati area, it's good to kind of have this mindset of like, yeah, let's get out there, let's go see the houses and we'll find the right one uh, as we go. So I hope to be able to do that for you. Would love to be your agent. So give us a call at Team Stanio, 513-813-6293. Email me personally. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and uh, I hope that very soon I'll be able to help you find the right house for your family. All right, see you later.